Hello everyone. Uh, in last video, we have learned uh, how to use Firebase function as a fulfillment webhook. Okay. In this video, uh, we're going to learn uh, how to save these data in database. So, I start with I copy the last code. Okay, we have copied code of last uh, video. I'm going to rename and saving using database and fulfillment webhook. Okay, fine. And I'll simply open it with previous code. Go to index.js. Okay, here I write in some codes. To get a start, uh, we have to getting a start with Firebase admin. Okay, we are right here. Okay, we are in getting started section uh, of Firebase admin server. Here they instructed how to install the Firebase admin. Simply copy it, open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus backtick and install. Not now I made a mistake. First go to functions folder and then install. Okay, then meanwhile it is installing. Go for it. Okay, then require it like this. We simply required it here, right here. Okay, initialize it. Yes. Okay, initializing SDK. There are several methods to initialize the admin SDK. Here is some, and here, and here. And we are using this method because we are uh, we are running it in Firebase function. So Firebase config uh, already have credentials, so we are getting credentials. From there on runtime. Okay, so we have initialized right here. Okay, then. Firebase admin provides several uh, things, including Firestore, Firebase Real Time Database. Actually, there are two databases in Firebase now. One is Firestore, which is latest and uh, more reliable, more efficient, and one is the Firebase Real Time Database, which is also. Uh, uh, really really good but they recommend to use for the store for new projects and uh, okay then so we have uh, stored the firebase fire store section in a variable and later we can use this variable to interact with our fire store database right. okay so here is our webhook function here is our simple firebase function starting from here line number 11 ending on line number 31 Okay, um, so we are uh, we are getting the parameters here, which we are getting from the bot, which we are getting from the dialog flow, which look like this. Uh, simply, we separate these parameter in a param in a params variable. Uh, in a params variable, if we log this params variable, it will look like this right here. And simply, uh, we have uh, a collection on our firestore which is now replace this with firestore actually firestore dot collection users we don't have users we have orders we have orders okay and here is document reference this one will return the document reference so here we have document reference okay document reference dot add parents actually we are doing something like this name John and and so on so we are simply writing params here right? writing params here means giving this object right here so this code uh, will add this object to our firebase firestore database and dot then dot We will respond that our database 
and then we will use hard if any error occurred we can catch that error right here okay and we simply can copy this went wrong run on database okay and then deploy it why was deploy okay why was deploy so revise what I, what have we have done Okay, uh, uh, you can find these things in Firestore uh, document. You can simply go here, 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 here Firebase Firestore, and you can see it here. Getting started. Okay, here is db dot collection dot user dot add and these things. So keep it simple. We can also do this, remove this, remove this. We can use firestore.collection orders dot add or dot them. Making sense. Firestore dot collection orders and add these in this collection. And we we do not need of this thing. Okay. Cancel the deployment and deploy again. Okay. Wait for deployment to be completed. Okay, our function is deployed successfully. So go to bot and test it again. Attempt go to book hotel. What's your name? My name is John. I want to book hotel for three persons and my email is ABC. Okay, what is left? Our room type is left. I want VIP room. Okay, something went wrong when writing in database. That Simply checking what is the L. Deploy it again. Okay, our function is deployed. Go here and test again. This time I just added the console.log so uh, if an error occurred, it will log this error. Last time I just forget it. Again. left room type I need okay. now here is a console so it should soothe here Okay, the Cloud Firestore API is not enabled for the project. This, this, this. Same not. Try Firestore B. Okay.
Okay, now it is enabled. Here are the security rules which should set to all true. Okay, all read rides allowed now according to this rule. Okay, now it should work correctly. Try it again. John, you heard a booking request, let's forward it. Um, go to database to see either it is saved or not. Data. Oh wow, our data is saved in database. Right here. Okay. So revise everything again. We have our uh, hotel booking bot here, right here. Um, simply we have uh, given some sentences as example we have added some action parameters okay we have added some action parameters and we have used webhook as fulfillment okay and we have a firebase function right here uh, which is a fulfillment webhook of our agent We're starting from here um, and here I have uh, initialized the fire store database okay because this function is the fulfillment webhook of our agent so in request all the parameters will be available so we are getting the parameters from the request body okay and we are putting that parameters firestore.collection orders and add these parameters this line says that uh, make a collection on firebase uh, if already not exist create it and if exist add parameters in that collection uh, okay and when you add in the collection it means then add and then response dot send john your whole booking request for vip room is forwarded for three persons we will contact you on abc at the rate abc.com soon okay if any error occurred console that error and send the response something went wrong when writing on database oh yeah. so i hope you understand uh, how firestore works uh, now keep one thing in mind you can use any database uh, here if you don't want to use firebase firestore you can use other database like sql and uh, like uh, uh, oracle and edc and you can also use you can you can also use some other server if you don't want to use firebase functions no need to uh, there's no there's no requirement for dialog flow to use firebase function you can use any server you can use php server you can use java server okay so if you are using a java server you will receive a request body you can simply get the parameters from that request and simply send the response according to the rule of document which is right here if you are using c sharp server you're using java server your response your response should fulfill these requirements are you right and you will receive this request on your server if you're using php server java server you are free to use any server and you are free to use any database okay uh, okay see you in uh, next video in the next video we will create another intent uh, show all booking which is actually created uh, but nothing inside so we will uh, uh, we will make this intent functional and we will also uh, uh, take a look on actions and what 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 is this unique identifier and why 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 write it right yeah if you go to hotel booking we have write this unique identifier as action 
but we have not used it uh, up till now so we will we will see how to use it what is the purpose of this okay it's time to do it yourself I'm simply going to export this export as zip I will push uh, that uh, agent in uh, this repository and I will also push the code uh, in this repository uh, as I uh, mentioned earlier each folder for each video okay it's time to do it yourself try yourself if you get any problem you can email me you can contact me on other resources which are described in uh, description okay thank you very much for watching uh, bye bye see you in the next video